Hey Dad, mm. what's your secret to success? Just keep working hard. Yeah? Set your dreams. Set. Remember I told you? You gotta have your goals written up. And then and you, you think it's possible? Hmm? Who taught you how to goal set? The Navy. The Navy? The Navy did. All right, so I'm gonna go join the Navy. Pwedeng mag-order ng isang whole, ano, Erwin? Uh, pig? Pwede. Sa so, ano? I wanna... And the ribs. Yung buong... Buong pig. You mean you wanna butcher? Yeah, I wanna butcher, not slaughter it. Buong pig? Yeah. Fresh, yeah. Yung ano lang, mga 20 pounds. What do you mean? Good afternoon. Yeah, this is uh, Mang Ed again. I'm calling just in case you need uh, anything for this week. Also, we have some Lucky Me mini cup that came. Uh, that man him. is a workhorse. I sent him the order two hours ago. <laughs> that man is a workhorse. He loves work. Dude, he was old when we met. He sent me a message. Oh, that's a question. Cool is there audio? Yeah, there is. Oh, there is. I'm Hi. Now. When opening a small business, especially a small business that involves working side by side with your family members, something that you don't take into account is the dynamic of working with your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your uncle, your cousin. Literally any family relationship that you can think of is somebody that I've worked with. I've worked with my mom, my sister, my dad, my cousin, my aunt, my uncle, my nieces, my nephews. I think the only thing I haven't done yet is to work with my grandchild and eventually that will happen. So mom. He was, well actually your dad was, uh... He wanted to do a commercial building, but uh, he was he was just gonna have it rented. That's why there were four doors. So like if somebody wanted just order the restaurant and the grocery, the, the bakery and then the office, they could individually rent it. But it was it was actually my idea to open up a grocery store because how you know how like we used to live in Vacaville and uh, uh, we used to go to Vallejo to Seafood City or whatever stores in there and I, uh, I, I thought that uh, it's a much needed store for Everybody that lives in the area for Sassoon, Fairfield, or you know, Vacaville. It's the motivation because I don't want to. I already computed me, I am, I am t 10 years ahead of what I'm doing. I think ahead. So I found a way the houses, um, it's by uh, when you're desperate. When you are desperate, you will find a way. That's that's how I I discovered real estate. Real estate is the one that um, gave me a chance to make more money. So by the time I got out, right? So I'm still in the service, but by the time I retired, I already have eight houses.